Women of Reddit, what do you wish self-proclaimed nice guys would understand? Romantic comedies are nothing like real life, and using the tactics shown in them will only creep the object of your affections out, not win them over. I agree, it's honestly why I'm no longer friends with one guy, getting pushed up against a building and the guy holding your head still while he kisses you, against your will, isn't sexy, it's scary and leads to a lot of anger. Proclaiming yourself a nice guy is a problem. People who are genuinely considerate and decent don't have to declare themselves honest and nice. People know them to be so by their behavior. Behaving nice specifically as a means to impress women as a means to an end is not genuinely being nice. Kinda like the Game of Thrones quote any man who proclaims I am the king is no true king. It immediately makes you a mature. It's the equivalent of saying I'm not like other girls. Sure maybe you are aren't but proclaiming it does nothing for proving it. I'm not like other girls, I'm worse. Being nice is the bare minimum. You should be nice to everyone, not just pretty girls and you should do it because it's the right thing to do, not because you think it'll get you laid. You have to bring more to the table than just being nice. This, for sure, if women see you being nice to the pretty women and standoffish to the other women, especially if the other women are the pretty ones friends, they tend to see through that sort of thing. You don't get special credit for showing the bare minimum of human decency. Actual nice guys don't have to tell a woman they are a nice guy. My husband is a kind-hearted man, a great man. He never once told me he was a good guy or a nice guy. He showed me. So, if you have to tell someone you are nice or good chances are you probably aren't. My grandpa always had a saying, guys with big dongs don't gotta brag about it. I like to think it applies to this situation. That just because you're nice to me, it doesn't mean I owe you anything in return. If you are only acting nice to get laid, that doesn't actually make you a nice person. Kyle, wearing a nice sweater isn't the same as being nice. Cartman, I don't understand. Kyle, I know you don't. 1. Sometimes, whilst grateful for the nice thing you did, it's too much. For example, at a place I once worked, some guy asked my supervisor if he could have a little extra help on a project he was working on and could I, the temp at the time, go and help him. When I got to him, he had actually used it as a chance to hand me a rose. So yeah, it was meant to be sweet, but it was completely unprofessional, especially as I was trying to get a permanent job. I also had to then reject him, and he turned hostile towards me. 2. If you're only nice to me, especially as a way to get with me, then no, you're not nice. If I see you being nice to other people then I'm much more likely to see you as a potential suitor. I also had to then reject him, and he turned hostile towards me. I wonder if men get how freaking scary this can be for women. We should not have to live in fear of you because we rejected you. Not a woman, but I lost my best friend over some nice guy BS like this. My so and I had gotten in a fight and he felt the need to console her and let her vent to him. About a week went by and he began asking if she'd like to meet and talk over drinks etc. At this point the fight was over and we were back to normal. She showed me a message saying I didn't deserve her and that he could treat her better. She deserves someone nicer. Ended up getting in a fight with him and haven't spoken in 3 years. She's still with me and we are getting married next month. Please understand that we do like nice guys. The fact that you are a nice guy, or so you think, is not the reason someone isn't attracted to you. To add to the points people have already made, one of the reasons why a woman isn't comfortable coming out and saying, I don't want to date you because I am not attracted to you and has to use other, softer reasons, I'm busy, I'm just out with my girls tonight, etc is because of a genuine fear that things could go south during the conversation and a guy who seemed nice at first could get violent or start stalking her. Not that that extreme scenario would happen with every guy she rejects, but it only needs to happen once for it to affect her life. One thing most women experience frequently, this is not rare at all, is an exchange like this. Esp online, hey, beautiful, oh, hi, hey, wanna go out sometime sorry. I have a boyfriend now, you think you're better than me, you stupid bee, you're not that hot anyway, I'm not gonna bang a 4 like you when I'm scoring 8s and 9s practically in my sleep, have fun being AC, 
We have learned to soften the blow and are afraid of being too direct because that violent outburst would be 3000x worse in person than online. These conversations usually start off reasonably nice, and you never know who the violent guy is going to be. They blend in with other guys, agent in the matrix style, so we have to be cautious. If you want to ask a girl out, ask her out. Don't become her friend and cultivate that friendship for months merely as a tactic to get her to go out with you. First of all, it doesn't usually work, because if we hang out for a long time and you never give me any indication that you like me as more than a friend, I'll just assume that you don't. Second, it's really hurtful to learn that the person you thought was your new friend is really just interested in sleeping with you. This has happened to me a few times, and when it does, sometimes the guy tries to blame me for leading him on. How was I supposed to know you were interested in me if you didn't say anything? If I'm not attracted to you, you will only ever be a friend. Pretty much perfectly sums up the whole thing. Being nice isn't a sexually attractive quality, it's a platonically attractive one. You have to be both kinds of attractive if you want to get someone's attention. Guy here. I'm a reformed nice guy. Being a nice guy is a frustrating, painful experience for many men, and interacting with a nice guy is a trying, confusing experience for men or women, and the better everyone understands what is going on the happier everyone will be. What women want, and what everyone wants, is a responsive partner. When she wants flowers, that's when it's a good idea to buy her flowers. When she wants a hug, that's when it's a good idea to give her a hug. When she wants to talk about her problems, that's when it's a good idea to sit and listen. Until she wants you to do these things, she's going to be creeped out if you do them. She's going to think why is he buying me flowers? I didn't want flowers. Now he's going to ask me out on a date. I'm not attracted to him. And he's going to get mad when I say no because he got rejected. Which always sucks. He's out $50 for flowers. Bummer. And he's going to feel stupid for wasting his time and effort. I didn't even do anything. And now I have to deal with an angry man who has a 0.5% chance of getting violent with me or becoming a stalker. This is so stressful even if you're a genuinely nice person who would never take out your anger on a person who rejected you. She doesn't know that. The friend zone is made up. Girls lean on it a lot when they don't want to tell a guy that they're unattractive. If a girl says that she doesn't see you in that way what she means is that she values your friendship but that she doesn't want to frick you. End of story. It's not like you got yourself into this situation by being nice or by trying to be her friend. If you hadn't been nice she still wouldn't want to frick you. To reiterate, she is not attracted to you. If you want to be friends, be friends. If you're here to frick, don't pretend otherwise. Humanity is not withholding sex from you and waiting for you to say and do the exact right combination of things to unlock the sex gate. Your desperation is repulsive. Women want sex, too, but don't want to risk pregnancy, herpes, or your clingy drama for a crap lay. She has interests to protect, too, and you are mostly antithetical to them. Stop being that. Women are not vending machines that you can drop kindness coins into until sex falls out. If I wanna date jerks that's my prerogative. Don't freaking be me out because you're PI I'm not dating you. Likelihood the bad guy I'm dating is just a good guy with tattoos. Self deprecation isn't cute. If you say things like oh, I'm such a loser or no girl is ever going to date me, even in a jokey way, it will not elicit any positive feelings from the person you said it to. It's like a woman saying um, oh, I'm suaru fat. Similarly, if you view yourself as a lonely forever virgin, or the guy who girls just love to friendzone, then that's going to come across pretty obviously to women, and that isn't attractive. Literally nowhere is it written in the stars that anyone has to like you, let alone want to date you. Nobody is contractual obligated to think positive things about you. You have to be a likable person to get people to like you. Sometimes it takes more work for certain people, but if you don't do the work, People don't like you. Sex is not a right. It is a privilege. And most of all, it is a choice. You do not get to decide for me. You do not have a right to me. I don't owe you a chance any more than you owe some annoying girl you aren't attracted to a chance. You aren't nice. You're making me uncomfortable when you don't back off. 
and me calling you on your crappy behavior doesn't make me the one at fault. If you were really my friend, you wouldn't make our relationship about your own desire for sex and intimacy from me. I didn't friend zone you, you sex zoned me, and you are really crappy friend if you never even wanted to be friends in the first place. If you pretend to be my friend, then turn on me when I don't want to frick you. You are the one who was manipulating me, not the other way around. Sex zoned. Awesome. When you're legitimately just being a kind person and when you're actually a lesbian and not interested in men. If you are a nice guy and she doesn't want to go out with you, it doesn't mean she wants an abusive butthole for a boyfriend. She just doesn't want you for a boyfriend. I can't count how many times nice guys have lamented that they can't get a date because they're too nice and girls only want guys that are dongs. Usually followed up by offhand comments about how they should start being a shat so they'd have better luck. Stop protecting us from sex. We're human, too. And independent agents quite capable of deciding when we'd like to frick and get fricked. If you see us slipping off with a bad boy it's because we're down to frick. Not because our pretty little heads have been manipulated or mislead. And if you frame us as children in need of your white knighting, you've no business pursuing a romantic relationship with us anyway. Your pervs. Newsflash. Sex is awesome. Get on board or GTFO. If I'm talking to you and seem interested in what you have to say, I probably am. But that in no way means that I'm necessarily interested in dating you or sexing you up, because those aren't mutually exclusive items. Talking to you like a person in no way means I'm leading you on, because talking equals equals flirting. Along similar lines, if you act like you want to be a friend, then that's what I'm going to take you as. Don't get pee off or cry friend zone when you're treated as my friend, and my friend only, because how else was I supposed to interpret your behavior? Expecting anything else is either lying to yourself or to me, neither of which are particularly endearing. Be straightforward with what you want, or don't be surprised when you don't get your secret desired result. But finally, it's a really crappy feeling to find out that someone you thought was a friend was only there to try and get in your pants. You feel devalued and stupid. Because you've been lied to and betrayed by someone you trusted. Don't be that guy. Especially if it's someone you supposedly care about. You have been visited by the strong skeleton. He wants you to like this video and have a good week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.